guys. I have like at least 10 figures to open. It is currently 9 a.m. Let's go get some breakfast and open some toys. I don't know why I put my hand over the lens. It's gonna be no transition. I'm just gonna brush my teeth, get ready, and go to McDonald's because, you know, breakfast. All right, now we do a transition. Oh shit. What's up, buddy? Can somebody go? Hungry? Yeah. Let me feed you real quick then. There you go, buddy. Looks like it's still pretty cloudy. It's freaking bullshit. Yesterday I washed my car and I checked the percentage of rain before washing it. It was 3%. That shit still got soaked. So now it's dust and all this crap on it. That's the only thing I don't like, like about black. It gets dirty too damn quick. is having some kind of construction done on their drive-thru I didn't really feel like getting out of the car so I just ended up going to uh, Dunkin Donuts getting us some coffees bagels and shit so hopefully this wakes up my little brother because I know he had a uh, long shift and he went to work right after school so I know he's pretty tired Jonathan I got breakfast. McDonald's was closed. I got Dunkin' Donuts and iced coffee. Nice. But not donuts, they're bagels and like breakfast crap. Do you wanna eat it now and open the toys? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Drive through. Actually, oh. I ended up getting off anyway. Oh, what the hell? What the? Little one. It has like syrup, huh? <clears throat> I don't know. Yep. No. I wasn't expecting that. No one puts syrup on breakfast, but ooh, ooh, fuck yeah, thanks. Yeah, this is like whatever, just huevo and fucking cheese and a tortilla, and they call it breakfast on the go. Yeah, I think I've had one before. All right, so quick change of plans. My brother had some. My brother had some schoolwork to do, so I just told him I'll open up my shit and then he'll jump in and open up his stuff when I'm done with this. I have a lot of stuff to go through. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and show you each thing I'm gonna open and start opening toys. All right, so Instagram pickup, badass Cortana, Fast and the Furious Eclipse, SH Figure Arts Chun-Li, fucking Fox, Gwenpool, Halo Spartan, Classic Tomb Raider, Robotech, and this figure I've been waiting for a really long time. Oh, before I forget, I got this new lighting kit. Usually I'm using this uh, this desk lamp to light my to light my videos, and so far it's worked all right. But um, this one, the cool thing about this one is that you can combine uh, white lighting with orange lighting, I guess tungsten lighting, and get the desired look you want. So let me go ahead and set this up. And let's see if you guys even notice the difference from desk lamp to this. All right, so this is with the old setup, just a desk lamp over here. Let's go ahead and switch to the new setup.
Oh shit, hell yeah. The cool thing about this uh, this kit is that you can adjust the, uh, the strength of the lighting. You can dim it down, you can boost it up. So right now it's at full power. And I think that is a little bit too much. Let's check it out. Actually, no. I think that's cool. Just that if I look at it, it is kind of blinding. But I like it. It looks way better than um, this desk lamp over here. Now let me turn it down a bit. Jeez, that thing is really fucking bright. I, I close my eyes and I see all the little LEDs. <clears throat> but that was way better. At least I think so. So let's go ahead and start opening toys. All right, um, first one. Let's go ahead and pop this guy open. The uh, World of Nintendo Star Fox. I always wanted this figure, but I was just passed it, um, passed up on it on Toys R Us. And um, you guys saw when I got this at a uh, cape and cow in the last video, when the uh, the toy hunting video. The we spent over 200 bucks on video that click big title. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. Another another uh, figure from this line that I really would like to get is the um, the big uh, Metroid, the big membrane Metroid or whatever, and the Donkey Kong. He was cool too. I regret passing up all those figures, but back then I wasn't really into, I guess, buying that many toys. I was more into the, um, I guess, Japanese toys, uh, anime hoes and shit. Ah. I can already tell there's gonna be a lot, a lot of trash in my room. A lot more trash in my room. Try to get this guy out. <laughs> smells good. Smells good. It's like I swear in every plastic pickups video. My room just ended up getting messed. There's still trash from the last pickups video over here. So let's just go ahead and throw that over there. Damn. Nice. The reason I wanted this... Oh, shit. Even his little tail's articulated. The reason I wanted this guy is just because um he has an old school fox appearance. Kind of like uh, reminiscing from the... Uh, well, obviously the original game, but... From Super Smash Brothers, that intro. Just when that kid is picking up all the toys from his toy box... That just stuck with me. It's like the kid's imagination brings them to life and like master hands and all that. So that was a really fun game. And this is a really cool figure. Really nice articulate. Damn, they even got the little um, name tag on there. Let me see if you guys can see that. There you go. But uh, yeah, pretty cool little guy. Nice paint apps. Everything's pretty, pretty mint, pretty fresh. His boots look fucking sick too. Check that out. Is one of them longer than the other one? Nah, they're they're pretty cool. And then they came with this nice little uh, mystery box. And I already know what's in here, but in case if you guys don't, let's open it together. This is a this is gonna be a cool little prop. I, I already uh, know I'm gonna use this. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh shit! Check, Check it, it out. out. Nice little ship from the game N64. Damn, this thing is tiny. It looks awesome. You know what? My brother will probably use this more than I will because he's really into uh, macro photography with those lenses my uh, my homie Enrique gave him. This looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, next figure. Let's move on. We got a lot of shit to open. Um, who should we open next? Let's go ahead and open the Fast and the Furious Eclipse. You guys already know why I got this. I have a 1997 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX, and it recently just started running well. I've had a, you know what? I'll just make another video about that. But my car is back, baby. Fucking happy about that. <clears throat> Actually, my uh, my older brother got this one for me. He, um, him and his wife, they're uh, what do you call them? I guess retailers for uh, for Hasbro. They go around and fix up all the displays. So they're always, they're constantly in stores. And um, I kind of see them <laughs> as uh, my toy scouts. They're always hitting me up. They're like, hey, do you want this? They take a picture of it. Do you need this? Do you have this already? So I always have, always, uh, like in my mind, I always, I, 
in my mind, I always have people out hunting for me. And that's really cool of them that they just pick up, pick shit up like this for me. So, I already had one of these. I'm just not too sure if it was the same one. I wanted another one just because the, uh, the wing of, of, um, the wing of my old one broke off. Just because I was stupid and I didn't know how to store shit. I still don't know how to store shit. But, I haven't broken a figure in who knows how long. So, that's, that's, that's pretty good improvement if you ask me. Uh, we're gonna need a screwdriver. Damn it. Yeah. Let me see. I think I have one. I think I have one right here. I should. Ugh. I'm trying to do this, not rushed, but in a quick manner just because I have work today at uh, 2 and it is currently 1039. So right now I'm washing my clothing for work, my uniforms, and after that I gotta go shower and get ready for work. But uh, besides that, this is what I look forward to now. Just fucking buying toys, opening them up, and just taking pics recently. Just, uh, I think, uh, last, yeah, last, this Monday, past Memorial Day, I had a uh, pretty badass meetup with most of the uh, LA Toy Group. The sad part about that is that um, I can't really show up to them anymore. Damn, that screw is really in there. I can't show up to them anymore because of my schedule at work we usually have them oh shit this battery's about to die let me go ahead and swap it out and uh i'll continue this all right i managed to get it off um but yeah as i was saying my brother my brother and his wife are always hooking me up with uh nice little finds and shit the cool thing about this car obviously being that i own one of these um is that the interior is just like spot on 100% well yeah most of the most of the dash is like completely accurate to the uh, the actual car in real life hopefully you guys can see that but all the little details are in there obviously not those racing seats mine's all stock but just the dash and the curves of the inside everything's on there pretty cool little uh, little car does the hood open no hood doesn't open but <clears throat> really nice replica from uh, Fast and the Furious rims damn that back though that's what made me like this car so much the fucking the tail lights nice little chromed out exhaust all the details on the top ah they got kind of lazy with the nos cans they could have been painted they just sculpted on there but that's all right cool little pickup i'll definitely be taking some pics of this did it leave the intercooler uh yeah it's on there but it's not painted whatever but yeah cool little car Let's uh, go ahead and see what's next. Mm. Now let's go ahead and do this Cortana. This is one of the uh, Mattel figures. What is this line called? It just just says Halo. But uh, yeah, these are the like the, the taller figures. They usually go for about eight to ten bucks. Again, this is from my uh, where's my blade? This is from my sister-in-law. She was out at, uh, I think she found, it, found her at Walmart. And uh, she knows I'm a Halo fan. So she asked, hey, do you need Cortana? I was like, yeah, I need Cortana. And she looks pretty cool. She's, uh, it looks like she's decently articulated. So let's go ahead and pop her open. Cortana has been like, oh, she was pretty much the first, like, video game crush I ever had. Ever since Halo uh, CE, I was like, damn. It's meant to be, baby. But then she became a fucking bitch in Halo 5. You know what? Actually, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what her motives are in Halo 5, so... I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Damn, she's really stuck in there. What the heck? Am I gonna have to rip this damn box? Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it. Ah! What's up with this shit? Does not want to come out. Oh, that's kind of retarded. Let's go ahead and cut these strings off. Nice, there you go. She's free. Oh, shit. Ah, plastic. Fresh plastic. Oh, damn. 
hey, this is fucking badass for eight bucks. Oh shit, they got all the details in there. God damn. And her face looks awesome too. Check, Check it, it out. out. Damn, look at that. For eight bucks, you really can't go wrong with this. Kind of a weird joint, but um, looks fucking dope. Sweet little details. Damn, just give it like a black or like a, a metallic silver wash and she's set. Damn, check out that Cortana ass. Bam! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! This figure's fucking dope, dude. She's beautiful. Eh, it could be a little bit bigger, but... You know, it's Cortana. Come on. She's not a slut. I mean, if you look up Rule 34, then she is, but... Yeah, this is a nice little pickup. I like this. I'll definitely be uh, shooting this figure for sure. Um, maybe do like some light painting or something. This, I think this would be, well, nah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be shooting her. I'll think of something. I'll do some light painting, make it look all fucking uh, angel-like or something. Maybe something like this. But uh, she's pretty tall. I'm guessing it's like maybe eight to 10 inches. Pretty nice little figure, big figure. It's a big bitch, and uh, feels kind of hollow, but doesn't feel cheap. Doesn't feel cheap at all. The articulation is great. Can go up this far, in and out. Elbow joint, elbow swivel, wrist swivel. The hands are kind of rubbery, I guess, to make them hold weapons easier. But uh, it's Cortana, so she doesn't need any weapons. The legs go out this far. Knees this far in. No, well, there's swivel at the at the knee, no ankle articulation at all, and then the thighs. This is where it's like, damn. Oh shit! Goes pretty wide, and as for the head, up this far, down this far. This is what I meant when I said uh, she kind of had a weird joint. See how it kind of angles, whichever way you turn it. You can't just turn left. She kind of goes like pivots upwards. If that makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. But uh, yeah, nice little figure. Nice big figure. Let's go ahead and move on. Oh, my clothes are done. I'll put them to dry later. Okay, let's see what's next. What's next? You know what? Let's go ahead and open this Gwen pool. Um, I kept seeing her being posted on Instagram. A lot of people making badass little uh, funny pictures and shit of her. I know nothing of the character. I just got her because I thought she looked cool. Come on, white and pink, and she's wearing freaking spandex. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Oh, that's my brother. Um, but yeah, I just liked her character design, so I ended up looking into her, like into her uh, backstory and shit. And uh, I'm not gonna say it was a bad backstory, but it was pretty simple. She, if I'm getting this right, she she was really interested in the comics. And the superheroes so she was obsessed with them all this bullshit and then somehow i'm not even too sure she got like transported to another un like another dimension another universe whatever to and in that universe those powers actually existed honestly i don't know i um i really wanted to pick up a comic book from like i really wanted to pick up her comic book so i might i might just do that and actually oh damn my, I might get um, how do you say it? I might get acquainted with like her story, but from from what I've read and from what I've seen, she's kind of like another, uh, or her her persona is kind of like Deadpool, like really loud, obnoxious, just goofy, doesn't give a fuck, kills anything. Hey, she's fucking thick too. Check this out. Jesus Christ, Marvel Legends, what the fuck? You're doing it right. Oh, uh, wait, what the f- I take it back. Why the fuck would you put that there? And then all black, too. That's disgusting. I t this is- this is not trash. Just fucking trash. <clears throat> no, but, um, overall, she's a- damn. Marvel Legends is really bumping up their quality. This almost feels- well, it looks like a Figma. It doesn't feel like a Figma. The joints are a little bit more stiff. But, um... Overall design looks pretty nice. 
really cool tight little bodysuit nice boots just pink and white pink and white's always a good combo damn all right let me show you guys the accessories really quick comes with this standard head where it's just kind of like smiling and shit nice little droopy droop her fucking sheath is a backpack and the swords just uh slip in it's a penguin backpack the sword just slip in in there cool little utility belt with a g for gwen nice little suit cool details skin nice little legs cool boots and then she this is why i kind of kind of uh, made me think of a figma just because she comes with a buttload of hands and accessories bunch of different assortment of hands little phone right there at the top and the alternate head is uh kind of her just smiling oh wait oh shit okay <laughs> sorry about that her alternate head is uh her sticking her tongue out can you guys see that there you go sticking her tongue out so that's kind of cool and then of course she comes with uh twin katanas right there are those the same katanas yeah, those are, I think those are the same katanas that the, um, not this current Deadpool, but the previous Deadpool, the one that everyone was all wet over. Well, everyone's always wet over Deadpool. But uh, yeah, cool little katanas, nice little phone. <clears throat> really glad. Oh, let me get that shit in focus. Really glad I picked her up. I'll definitely be taking some shots of her. And um, like I said, I really like the character design of her. And uh, she just seems like an interesting character, so I'll be looking into her. I might even start reading comics. I never really got into comic books. Nothing against them, but it just, they never really uh, caught my attention. But uh, I'll, I'll pick some of her series up, some of her issues, and I'll take a look. All right, moving on. Mm. You know what, let's open this uh, Instagram pickup. This came from a guy that I think his, yeah, I think his account name is just Toy source so there you go cool little logo there we go and I forget how I found him but uh, he makes his own custom little figures and he I think what he was trying to do is making like some kind of a Ghostbuster and Pokemon crossover <laughs> nice nice little personal drawing right there little T-Rex says thank you but yeah, he was, he was attempting, or not, not attempting, but he was making, he was in the process of making uh, some Ghostbuster slash Pokemon crossovers. So I think the problem with, he had some kind of problem with the casting, and the figure that he wanted to make was a clear green Gengar or something. But um, I think he ended up making, I don't know what happened, so don't quote me on this, but um, he ended up having a couple Gengars. It just had like kind of like a milky white residue inside and he was just trying to sell them as one off just little single individual pieces and I thought that looked cool so he let me pick which one I wanted and I just ended up ended up uh, ended up buying him oh shit <laughs> he actually sent me some little Pokemon cards here with his own drawings in there <laughs> do duo with beefy arms what the fuck <laughs> check these out nice little personal touch I love it when people do shit like this they take their time to actually include something that is uh, well obviously everything is handmade with custom toys like resin toys but nice little cool little touches we got another one over here magic carp <laughs> ukrp cool what the fuck okay that looks funny that looks kind of funny but uh, yeah nice little touches like this um you can really tell that the person enjoys what they're doing and they're just and they're just not in it for the money Go ahead and focus. Should really get glasses. It's making me squint a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the package. Right here. Nicely wrapped. Oh shit! Looks like he sent some. Uh, looks like he sent a couple bonus, bonus pieces. Let me go ahead and open all this crap. Nice. God damn, the guy hooked it up. Sorry for the noise. Ugh. Yeah. Jeez, that's fucking cool of him. He sent me a bunch of extra stuff. All right, so let me let me show you guys a Gengar first. This is what I was talking about. It's kind of translucent. Has like some kind of white residue on the inside. 
I just think that looks really cool. Uh, let me see if I can find a... Uh... Oh, you know what? Yeah, let me shine the light of my phone through it. It's so like that. Maybe you guys can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Give me a sec. Damn it. Can I fucking turn on the flash? Okay, there we go. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, there you go. See all that milky stuff, all that white residue inside. Damn, that looks awesome. Um, excuse my dirty ass fucking nails. But um, this is gonna look really cool, like against some sunlight, or maybe like just like a, like this, a silhouette, some purple lighting or something. <clears throat> as soon as I saw the uh, the Gengars, I was like, oh dude, I don't even have a Gengar for my little Tomy figures. I had to snag this. Just look at that nice, nice little details inside. Sick. All right, sorry about that. The clip got cut off. I always forget that this camera can only record for up to 20 minutes. So as I was saying, pretty cool little Gengar. And let me show you the other stuff that this guy sent me. So I believe this is from a Crash Bandicoot toy that uh, he purchased and then made this little cast, cast of winning accessories. And sorry for my fucking nails. They're disgusting. I was working on my car the other day with my pops and I just can't get this shit off. I already showered like three fucking times. But yeah, nice little accessory. I don't know, I might paint this off and make it make it into a pin or something. And then he'll send me this badass little worm. I think this is uh, his own custom design. His own sculpt and everything. Let's try and get those details in there. Nice little gnarly mouth. I'll probably just have this on my desk. Maybe it'll help me keep keep the, uh, the viruses away. What the fuck am I saying? His own little custom Rick and Morty uh, Rick figure. His own little Keshi figure. Pretty nice little bonuses that he included. And then the last thing, oh shit, nice. It's actually a, uh, a pin of his logo. Little T-Rex, Toyosaurus. That's freaking dope. Hell yeah. I'll, uh, I'll tag the person that made the, uh, the figures. Thank you. Thank you for all this bonus stuff, man. It's really nice. Um, as I was saying earlier, you can really tell when a person is uh, really into what they do and not just in it for the money. It's when they take time and actually um, put a... Uh, Put, like actual effort into their packaging not just oh you bought this item let me wrap it up and ship it out to you no they put in like personal little little additions to the package so that's really cool thank you man appreciate it all right so next let's go ahead and open up this fucking yellow unicorn guy this is from the halo was it halo universe series the thing that pisses me off about these is that everyone Pretty much everyone, everywhere, except for fucking people in California, haven't seen any of uh, the second wave. So all these badass characters, we cannot, for some reason, get over here. Like fucking Arbiter, Vale, Buck, this guy, Master Chief, and this piece of shit that I probably won't even pick up. But, I don't know what's up with Mattel, um... I asked my sister-in-law about it because she goes to their headquarters often and she says that they don't know that, that they, they really can't tell her anything that uh, for some reason people in Mexico have them, people in fucking Spain have them, but right here in California, I, I seriously, the only character I've seen from this line is this yellow one for some reason. Freaking uh, the Toy Bros already have them. So apparently this is the expensive one. Oh. Oh man! You get one side, I'll get the other! Damn. Pull it, toy from it! And they're in, in Florida, so I don't know what's going on. Like, why is it taking so long for us to receive these figures? These figures or whatever. And it really sucks because they're really badass figures. They're decent figures and they're really uh they're really well priced. It's a fair price. You you pay like, I think like 20 bucks, 22 bucks, whatever, and you get a really cool articulated uh Halo figure. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. My, uh, my little brother got this for me. He was at Toys R Us and he called me up. And he's like, hey dude, this shit's 40% uh, off. You want me to snack something up for you? And they only had this guy and uh, Kelly from Wave 1, which I already have. So this ended up costing him, I think like 12 bucks and some change. So for 12 bucks, this is a great, well, even at full price are great figures. But uh, yeah, he ended up hooking me up with this. So let's go ahead and pop this bitch open. I'm not really a fan of the the whole uh well nah it looks alright. The whole unicorn helmet thing. He looks cool. But uh I'll for sure be giving this guy like a black wash or something. Maybe add some like metallic scrapes. 
because uh, that's the only my only issue with uh, this line is that shit is that they look really great the sculpt is all there but when it comes to paint apps they just add like the minimal amount of paint and then everything else is just sculpted on there but then again that's probably due to uh, pricing if they were to invest more time and money into the, uh, the paint jobs these figures would be worth way more but it's nothing a little uh custom black wash can't fix all right so let's go ahead and get this guy out let's um and another cool thing about this line is um if you're a customizer oh shit sorry about all that noise if you're a customizer you can easily swap out pieces armor pieces with other characters and make your own spartan even or even maybe your own elite because i think there's like three elites already in this whole halo universe wave or series <clears throat> but yeah this definitely needs a uh some kind of black wash maybe even some silver brushing for weathering but besides that no problems with these figures like obviously they have uh, some limitations in their articulation but that's just due to the armor it's not mattel's fault it's just how the armor is and then you get nice little pegs all right okay so let's go ahead and armor this guy up the armor is really easy to to snap on you just pretty much slide it on place just make sure everything's cool and it's as simple as that they have a uh, little pegs right here on the inside make sure you can see that little pegs right there on the inside so you can connect them to the uh, the holes that are included in the thighs or wherever the, the armor piece goes so then you, it's just a matter of uh, lining them up and clicking them on it's easy as that oh shit the some of the armor pieces are kind of loose but um that's nothing a little uh, little nail polish can't fix oh fuck all this shit's falling off now. Oh, okay. I see why. I didn't peg this uh, this piece of armor correctly. Oh, it was completely wrong, too. It was upside down and shit. Alright, there we go. Oh, <laughs> at fucking work, I have this co-worker named, uh, named Joel. And I showed him my toy photography, and then um, out of nowhere, he freaking... He buys a fucking... What, what is it called? I think it's like yeah the hot toys group and he starts shooting all these badass pictures and buying like a figure here and there so joel i know you're watching and you know what carlos is probably watching this with you so what's up putos but um no joel's been taking some badass pictures of his uh of his group i'll tag his account right here make sure to check him out um he's been really into toy photography and that's fucking cool i love it when people people um just accept this hobby and give it a try out for themselves because we get a lot of weird looks when we're out shooting and it's like if you don't know what we're doing don't fucking judge don't be a dick we're just out having fun we're just hanging out taking pictures of toys dude like come on don't be a fucking asshole but yeah as i was saying joel's been taking some badass pictures i'll um yeah i'll post his account right here and make sure to check him out oh, i'm having some issues with this armor piece and there we go got it okay he is now fully armored up and ready to fuck shit up so let's get a closer look at the details that i was telling you guys about so see kind of like in the armor under armor you get like this really really nice um mesh type type pattern you get a lot of nice line work all the details are there all it needs, as I said earlier, just some little, little bit of love, some, uh, some black washing, and you'll be set. So this guy comes for weapons. He only comes with one. No, actually, bullshit. He comes with two: the uh, standard UNSC pistol, and then this badass energy sword, which is the first energy sword I ever own. Or I've ever owned. Pretty nice little colors. Um, not really. I really wish it was only this color, but whatever. It looks nice. It looks cool. And he also comes with this uh, extra helmet, the uh, Sangelios or whatever. 
Kind of like the elite re representation of a Spartan. Just check that shit out, dude. If that doesn't look fucking cool to you, I don't know what is. Badass. This sword is fucking huge. Oh shit, and it just fell. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, the articulation is all there. You're just only sometimes limited by the armor. So you get double hinged knees. Ugh. See what I mean when the armor starts coming off? But uh, yeah, you get double hinged knees. Um, double hinged biceps. In and out. Just standard action figure articulation. Really nice um, ball joint at the head. Very easy to move. You get some waist swivel. No hip swivel. But a uh, pretty solid figure. For 20 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Let's go ahead and separate all his accessories. Not to lose anything. And, alright, we are coming down to the last, to the final few boxes. How many more minutes are left on this shit? Six more minutes. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're down to our last, yeah, is it? Yeah, our last two, no, three packages. Let me just go ahead and show you this one. This one I'm not going to open on camera. This I decided to pick up for a, uh, a toy archive video. So this is an old school Toy Biz, uh, Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. I just thought she was pretty much uh, one of the first toys that was video game related that I wanted to purchase, like off on, like um, through online. And I was a little kid, so my mom was like, "Why the fuck do you want that big titty hoe for?" I was like, "Oh, she looks cool, mom." But in reality, I just thought she was hot. But um, yeah, this is the Laura Croft. Um, well, this is the Video Game Superstars Tomb Raider. So there you go, Video Game Superstars. Nice little Laura Croft figure, some enemies, SMGs, guns, and the part that I thought was interesting is that her shorts are actually fabric. So we'll see if this figure is even worth talking about when I decide to uh, film the toy archive, toy archive video. And just look, damn, the back of her, <laughs> her face actually looks kind of cool. So my Hegel, check that out. Hell yeah. I wonder what she's thinking about. Whoop! All right, next toy. Two more, two more. Well, actually, no, my bad. Three more. Oh shit! <laughs> shit! I'm I'm debating if I should even open the next two figures because they have a lot of pieces and I'm running out of time. So you know what? I'll just uh, show you guys what I got and then um. I'll film the rest of the unboxing later on, maybe like tomorrow morning before I go to work. Or tomorrow afternoon after I come home from work. So yeah, I decided to pick up this badass Robotech figure. Um, just because I've never really owned any Robotech figures. And I was a huge, not huge fan, but I was uh, a little kid playing these games with my older brother and my younger brother on the Xbox. And I always liked the, uh, what do you call it? The Guardian, wait. I don't know what the mode is called, but I always liked this mode. I always thought it looked freaking sick. And this figure can transform into all three modes. And it even comes with uh, the little pilots up to scale. So we'll oh, ugh. so I'll go ahead and open that shit up later. And the last, or the other figure I have is this badass Chun Li SH Figure Arts Chun Li. I've already opened her before. I just put her back in the box just to show you guys. But she's a solid ass figure. Again, I'll open her again and um, I'll record an unboxing, but really solid figure. Out to the figure that I've been waiting for for almost two months. I, um, my Ami Ami account got, uh, got canceled because I missed a lot of pre orders. And it wasn't by choice, it was just because I just never checked my emails. So it was kind of an accident. So I guess I missed one too many pre-order pre-order payments. And they said, alright, fuck you, dude, you're done. So they canceled my account. All my pre-orders went to shit. And I missed out on this figure. Which I guess the original price was uh like 50 something bucks. And it had to pay like maybe 20 bucks more just to get her. But besides that, I am super happy about this figure. Let me go ahead and start a fresh new clip for you guys and go ahead and unbox this baby. Alright, all the way from Japan. Let's go ahead and open up this box right here um 
I found this on Amazon. It was a new re retailer called uh, Rakuten. Or here, I'll just show you guys right here. Uh, you know what? I'll show you guys later. But um, yeah, it was a new retailer, and it had no um, what do you call it? Uh, no ratings. So I kind of, I was kind of iffy about it at first. But then in my head, I was like, it's Amazon. They can't fuck me over. If anything happens, Amazon will back my ass up. And I really, really wanted this figure. This is I was really bummed out when Amiami canceled my account because I missed out on this figure. Now, this is a figure I was looking forward to for a really long time. So let's go ahead and unbox her. Ugh. There we go. Now, this is probably going to be a figure that uh, I'll do its own review on just because it's such a nice figure. Damn. Straight from Japan, baby. Pop this shit out. They give you a little... Oh, it's just a receipt. Alright, don't need that. Holy shit. Oh my god, hell yeah. You guys ready to see what it is? God damn. This is my first figure from this series. So I'm really happy to own her. Jeez. So this is the... Uh, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Polinian FFL... I am? I don't know. I just thought she looked cool. Fucking big ass titty robot. Like, come on. Who wouldn't want that? Check that out. Let's go ahead and rip off the little plastic here. But yeah, I was really sad that I missed his pre-order, so I just said, fuck it. I'm just gonna take the risk and order it off Amazon. Jesus Christ, look at all those poses. Super subjective. Just my kind of figure. Yeah. God damn. And then the rest of the bitches you can get, but nobody wants them because they're all flat. Alright, let's go ahead and... Nice little window box, I guess. Yeah. You guys ready? Here it goes. Oh, shit. God damn. Nice. Some illustrations of the character. Check that out. A little pieces. And then a little window box of her inside. So let's go ahead and open her up because I really want to um, see, what, see what these figures feel like. Because they're really well, articu really well articulated. But I'm guessing they're kind of like PVC or some kind of soft plastic. So let's check it out. Nice little picture on the top. <sighs> what time is it? Alright, it's 11.30. I got a lot of time. Pop her open. Oh, damn. That's really strong. Alright, so let's see what we get. Wow, a whole nother spare tray just for a little stand. <laughs> Comes in a little baggie. Oh shit, she's actually pretty pretty heavy. Make sure my hands are dirty because this this is a kind of plastic that looks like it'll stain if your hands are dirty. Or even oily for that matter. Jeez, she's fucking beefed up. Hell yeah. Check her out. Sick. Nice proportions all around. Ugh. Damn, the joints are crazy. They're um, they kind of feel like Figma joints. Really tight, really smooth. Check out the details on the face. Beautiful little green eyes. Cool little gem on top. But hell yeah, the joints are really. Really sick. Really nice stiff joints, no problems right there. And just the body, this is what made me get the figure, just the body. Really nice, uh, thick proportions. Thick bitch! Had to get her. I needs it, man. I needs it! Fig left Miami, what's up? That's another channel you guys should check out. Fig left Miami. Fig left Miami. And Toy Bros. That's the shit I watch the most right now. Really cool guys. 
Jesus Christ, I can't get over this damn figure. Sweet. And, okay. That looks like it's... Oh, am I in the focus? So, all right. I think that's everything that I need to unbox. Let me go see what my brother's doing. And uh, he'll come in and unbox his things. Let me just clean this up really quick, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Fuck! Hey guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing on um, NECA's Rick Deckard, Blade Runner 2049. Um, I mentioned to my brother that I wanted this figure because the Toys R Us that's like right around the corner is, is closing. Well, they're all closing. Holy shit! They're all closing and um, really honestly all I really wanted it for... What? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Honestly, um... Oh, fucking Evelyn. Hello? Hey, guys. Today, I'm doing an unboxing on uh, Rick Deckard of Blade Runner 2049. My brother got this for me. Um, I mentioned to him that I was looking to buy it, and... The Toys R Us, I was... Right here, just around the corner, had them for like 20 something bucks. And I saw it on ThinkGeek for 11, but then plus shipping and whatnot, and then I'd have to wait. So, um, he went over the other day and he saw that they were 50% off, so he picked up not only Deckard, but El Carrito. Alright. So, get right into it. It's a Sith legend. Um, what I like about this figure is that he comes with the gun, obviously, his, um, his little pocket gun, even though it's not a laser tube like they have in uh, the book. But um, I think I got into Blade Runner because of fucking Fallout New Vegas. I know the gun comes out in there and it's titled that gun. Ooh, nice. So even the backdrop it comes with is sick as hell. That's out of the way. I don't know what it is about the gun either, it's just, it looks sick as fuck. Nice. Look at that. Can't even see that, huh? What the fuck? There you go. Eat up? Alright. And here's the man, the myth, the legend himself. Mr. Han Solo. Rip, by the way. Carter Daddy. What? What? Fuck. Alright. Beautiful. Nice. It reminds me of, um, just the sculpt is sick, but the, the clothing that he, like, he has a shirt on, obviously. It reminds me of the, um, who was that? I know there was a, a wrestler. I think it was Vince McMahon. He had like a, a tuxedo. And he can take it off, but the sleeves stayed on. So it was kind of stupid. But that that's what this shirt reminds me of. Like, it seems like he could take it off. It'd probably be a hassle and not worth it. But that was fun. Damn, no one shoots wrestlers, huh? Fuck. And there's the original sad boy, Rick Deckard. Bam. All right. Moving on to the whip. Uh, this is Agent K's whip, I think, from 2049. Hover car, if you will. Again, uh, this one comes with a cool backdrop. It seems to be the same one that's in the uh, that came with Deckard. 
cool nothing holding this one in place so it just slides right out oh and the wheels actually move so that's sick as fuck hell yeah boy look at that damn so these are both NECA um, I mean the articulation on this is great Wow, it even has a license plate. That's that's pretty cool. It's the details. Look at that though. Oh shit. Whew. All right. And lastly, I hate that fucking word. I picked up a crow figure the other day of Eric Graven. Uh I kind of wanted to open it, but he's not really posable, so I, I really don't see a point. I mean, other than the guitar, but who the fuck am I going to shoot with a guitar? Uh, this is a sick-ass movie. If you haven't seen it, I'd really recommend it. But other than that, that's it. Alright, that's it for this uh, Plastic Pickups. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll uh, set up a quick montage of all the figures we got. We got a lot of fucking figures. And, uh, no, that's, that's, I was going to wait till we had more, but I was like, no, that's it. I, I wanted to open fucking this one, and it came perfectly at the right time. So, um, yeah, I'll set up a montage, and thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace. That was gay. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Thank you.